What's up, shooters? Frank Proctor with Way of the Gun Performance Shooting. Got a couple new uppers, 300 blackout uppers from BCN. These are prototypes. We're going to test them out today and have a good time with them. But we got to put some optics on them. So why not talk about some different optic selections and then mounting up maybe a preferred optic selection here. We can do iron sights fast, okay, very fast. Takes a lot of weight off the gun. Hey, Yotex aren't that heavy. It's eight ounces. That's a half a pound, right? So if you're looking at uber light build, hey, iron sights are awesome. You know, fast up close. They start to suffer a little bit when things get small. That thing covers a lot, okay? Uh, and then, can you see what it is you need to shoot? More on that later. Then move into the, the pros of something like or a dot sight. You can see a lot around it. Um, the you know, this bottom of the sights aren't blocking um, a lot of your field of view there. That little dot's right there out there in the middle. One thing I really dig, I said little dot. One of the things I really dig about the EOTech versus some of the other ones, that one MOA dot in the middle, and then that big 65 minute angle ring. Okay, and it definitely pulls your eyes in nice and fast, but that one MOA dot really helps when things get small and we need to shoot at distance. Our sight doesn't cover up a lot of the target. Not the case with some of our three and four minute angle, or even two minute angle dots. Um, now, kind of where I've gone to, you know, going back to some of my rifle shooting roots on, on an AR, is a magnified optic, a one to something, all right? One to four, this one is, a one to six, one to eight or something like that, giving you the speed that these other two types of sights will give you, plus,